Good evening. I'm here on Bloomfield Road at the Blackpool Football Club. It's still beautiful, look at it today. Lovely day. So I'm heading round to the arcade. I've forgotten the name of it, honestly, I'm useless. There's an arcade up here. I'm gonna go and check it out. It is beautiful though, isn't it? It's been a really nice day. That's a hotel that I would like to check out. The Blackpool Football Club Hotel. So just a bit further up and you've got here the statue Jimmy Armfield CBE Blackpool in England. I admit I don't know what CBE stands for I'll have to google it when I get home. Just opposite the travel lodge you got the Gateway Centre just there. Junior Seasiders. And then they've got the hotel, spa, shop, and a restaurant. There you go. Oh, it's in association with Merlin Entertainments. You've got to love a bit of Merlin, haven't you? We practically live in Merlin. It's our second home. Oh, I could do with a spa right now. There it is, Arcade Club, that's it. I've wanted to see inside here for ages. Just never get round to it. <laughs> you always add something to your list, don't you? Your very long list. And say you'll get round to it. That looks nice, doesn't it? Should go stay there one night. Check it out. I like doing the hotel stayovers. Them turnstile doors, they, they kind of freak me. Look how narrow they are. And I'm a big woman. <laughs> Have you seen um, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory when she goes, you are not squeezing me through that tiny hole. <laughs> That's me. Here we go, here's the arcade. I've no idea how to get in though. So free parking to arcade club customers. Public have to pay to park. No app, just SAP. So if you're not using the arcade, it's two pound for two hours, up to 16 pound for 12 hours. There you go, let's go and see what it's like inside. Home fans only on match days. <laughs> Large bags and rucksacks are not allowed in the venue. I've got a tiny one on my back with my diary in, so hopefully that'll be allowed. So just here at the arcade club, and I've just found out off the manager, you pay one price at the door, 16 pounds or 40 pounds for a family ticket, and then you just play all of the games for free. Isn't that fantastic? You've got a bar and restaurant. And look at all this choice. I think I'm going to have to test out some of the games while I'm here, aren't I, hey? It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is brilliant. Ninja Turtles. Oh, Nintendo, Roger. 
Donkey Kong, Popeye, wow. This is huge, isn't it? Look at those streets of rage. Robocop, Commando. They've got all of the classics, haven't they? <laughs> wow. You can go this way. Let's go this way. Got toilets just here. So I think that's fantastic because in an average arcade, you can spend £20 in an hour. Here, you're paying £16 or 40 if it's your family ticket. And then you're just playing all day. Oh, who remembers the uh, the table classics? Fantastic. Game room in there. Oh, all of spotted Heather. <laughs> A little concentration on my <laughs> Oh, this place is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to test out some games, I think. I'll see you in a minute. What should I go on first? I literally don't know what to choose. Oh, they've got Mario Kart. So. Oh, look at that. Arcade made beer. 8%. Wow, £6. So you can get two bottles here of Corona, Bex, Peroni, WKD and Smirnoff Ice for £5.50. Hello, can I have a WKD please? <laughs> so that's not a bad price, is it really? They've got a good selection here. Uh, how much is one? There's always one awkward customer, isn't there? And it has to be me. <laughs> Two ninety five. I'm okay with just the one, thank you though. But it is a good deal. So if you get here for a bit longer, guys, get two. I'm just gonna pay. Look at this. I like the uh, the menu. Look at that. All retro. Great stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to say, I'm uh, really impressed. There's the Dudley, the Dudley Hotel. Check them out. Really impressive place. Need to go find Heather. Ah, oh, there she is. I've spotted her. <laughs> Let's catch Heather. <laughs> oh no, I was trying to get you doing your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dance from the back knee anyway. Oh, this place is fab, isn't it? It's great. Yeah. But if I try and add it up how much, you know, in a regular arcade at how, yeah. I would have already spent about seven or eight pounds yeah. just in the half an hour, an hour that we've been here. So if you're spending half day or a whole day here, it's oh, yeah. well worth it. £40 for a family ticket for yeah. all day. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Should we have a game on something? Yeah, what do you want to do? Do a bit of shooting, maybe something where we can sit down. My old knees are hurting me. Heather.
just making it a go. Oh. <laughs> oh, look what's happened. Look what's happened to my phone. I just got it out of my pocket. That's what it's like. Oh, I'm crying. I don't know what I'm going to do. I wonder how much it'd be to get it fixed. So I'm getting a phone call now. Uh, so absolutely gutted about my phone. I cannot believe I made that silly mistake of putting the keys in the same pocket as the phone. Sat down to play um, the racing game and smashed my phone. <sighs> really, really gutted. But the positive news is this place is really, really good. You can't play in any arcade all day for £40 for two adults and two children. You go into a normal arcade, you're spending £20 in less than an hour. So it really is, it really is fantastic. And I'll definitely be coming back with the children. We'll have some fun. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'm going home now to get under my quilt and cry. And I'll see you next time. Lots of love. Bye. Ooh.